Gigantic damage. You know this player is going to be hitting that execution for sure. I, I don't know if... Oh my gosh, what a great start. But I don't know if this is something that like we should know that Ninja Kill has played before because I don't think I've ever literally seen this. But uh, this is like a like a dream choice of mine. Like If I got to see any player with any character soul forfeit spawn from Ninja Killer is like, uh, I don't know, it's definitely up there because the combos that Ninja Killer could get are going to be absolutely disgusting for sure. But I'm so glad we're seeing spawn. Yeah, this is our ninth character to be seen in this top eight. Really good projectiles as well. He can delay the second one way longer than you even think. It's pretty wild. And you can hit it from it from really far too. Yeah, uh, that's one of the biggest frame things. option up close. He uh Ooh, nice fall is blocked, but yeah, immediate breakaway. But yeah, the, the standing three, of course, you know, we kind of have to talk about that. It's like one of the best anti-airs in the game, but only from far away. That move right there, it also just checks people in neutral so well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when this game shows chain normals, you can bet there's no hitboxes in those things, baby. He's not gonna get hurt if you attack through those. He's attacking you, that's all. You can't attack him. Hey, you know, chain a chain attack, one of the, the most infamous attacks in uh, Mortal Kombat, so you gotta put respect on the chain attacks, but yeah, it's been the case for quite a while, either with the Takeda stuff or now with Spawn. And yeah, you can just see, I mean, Juke's just playing so patiently, just trying not to get hit because every single like, uh, like hit is going to be converted into full damage when you have that health charge. And there it is again. Ooh, tried to challenge. Oh, no, no full conversion there. Can't get all that much. You can't get like, I don't know, back forward two, but you're not really getting that easily. Oh, good flawless block. Oh, that's it. Great conversion, my gosh. Just no chance to get the pressure going from Jukes. Uh, maybe maybe looking a little bit like uncomfortable with the fact that the spawn was picked. Maybe didn't expect it. Uh, again, I, you know, it's not something that I've certainly ever seen Ninja Killer play. It might be a pick that he's chosen a few times before, but you know, it's hard to, hard to follow every single person. And definitely not one of the picks that I think he's used in like tournaments very heavily. I mean, man hasn't been playing in tournaments very much, right? That's, that's part of why we know coming into this, we said he's probably the favorite. We know that he's extremely talented. And, you know, you can watch him play sometimes. He streams, that kind of thing. But, like, in terms of tournament play, you just don't get to see it very often. And so it's not a surprise that we are surprised. Yeah, uh, but uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just so happy. I just gotta say, I'm so happy it's to see Spawn. Sick. I mean, Spawn is such a sick character, but also just think about all of the DLC characters that we got to see today so far. We've seen Spawn, Sindel, uh, Fujin, Robocop. Uh, like, we're seeing a whole lot of the cast that have come into the game a lot later into it and are still now just being explored more and more. And to see Ninja Killer do it, oh, that's just, it's special that we get to see this. His Jukes gotta make the offense count. He's up close. No, Ninja Killer with the rare wake up attack. Yeah, there's stats that you can actually see on playing ranked in the game, and Ninja Killer showed his stats, and his wake up, his like the things that he doesn't wake up, it was like 95% just nothing. Which is just, you know, just be patient and just guess correctly afterwards. Which is incredible, just the kind of player he is. Again, there's that delay in the fireball. Jukes with attack. Ninja Killer oh, right back in. Oh no. Uh, again, another character that has incredible ground movement if your movement tech is good. You know, you've got the wave dashes and spawn. Very again, slow walk speed, but wave dashing incredibly fast. And you know Ninja Killer, probably one of the best wave dashes in the game. In of the course, world. whatever the execution is, that man's ready for it. There's the catch as he tried to go up into the sky. You can really having trouble getting things going. There's a chance though. There is defensive bar. Ninja Killer hangs on. Oh, tried the down one. Maybe just a little bit early in that situation. But yeah, that's going to be chip. Grease kick, one of the better chip moves in the game. Of course, super unsafe. But if you've got damage over time on the ground and the chip from the grease kick, more often than not, you're going to be getting that chip kill. I love Jukes just getting out of the corner. Oh, here we go. No. All right, and now, you know, one thing that we haven't seen yet is Soul Forfeit. We haven't seen it get even to a third round yet. So there is the opportunity to use that. It does get rid of some of your bar, but that's when the combos get nasty. And he might save it until he can for sure get a one hit kill from it, but we'll see. I mean, he's actually already pretty close to that. Yeah, he's, yeah. <laughs> he's there now. 
Oh, we'll see if he even still oh, has it. Oh, 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 no. What? Missed the conversion. Gets a second nice conversion. But all right, here we go. Going to get the grab. At this point, you're probably not worth for soul forfeit. You probably just want to keep your bar. Right. It is often used as kind of like a comeback tool. Of course, down to that life, but nice. This is a big pickup. Now you can get some leap with Oki after this, but I mean, that's really scary. because There's the possibility of flawless block, the anti is standing three, just a whole lot. Let's see what the option is. Zone. Yeah, those fireballs are so strong. Oh, he's jokes. Trying it. Oh, yes! Oh, 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 oh they hit! Oh, wow. was, I think, trying down one underneath. No, Jukes was there. Yeah, that is going to be the guess right there, because if that was just a jump punch after that first blast, we were going to see, again, probably the 1-1-2 one, one, or just some sort of normal into the Grease Kick, which would have been enough hits to break through last breath and then get the kill, probably. Uh, but if it wasn't that, then it was two blasts in a row, which is going to beat the anti-air for it. So it really was a 50-50 situation where if either person guessed correctly, they were going to win. And it just came down to that one final read. But yeah, this is not going to be super free for Ninja Killer. We are going to at least go to a 1-1 one -one here. I would love to see more of the spawn. We'll see what his choice is. But what's he? yeah, he's right back in there. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. I, I think you can see some of the strengths that the character has. It's not that he has like, you know, spine burst, easy anti air or something like that. It's that he has this big mid range control. He's got great movement so that he doesn't have to deal with where Jackie can easily attack with leaps and the like. He's got big damage when those situations come up. He has nice pressure for himself. He has the fireball to control space too. He's a good character. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's been really well played so far, too, of course, by Ninja Killer, but it just came down to a few reads, right? It, 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 that can happen, especially at, like, the highest level with two high damage characters. That's sometimes oh, just yeah. all it takes. But again, finding that opening. And, yeah, that's the thing with Spawn is he doesn't really have any great ways of baiting breakaways in his combos. He just lets them hit and then tries to open you up one more time. And if he does hit you that in the second time, uh, you're dead. <laughs> There's that super late delay. No entire. So patient. Wow, well, there's Jukes. Nice. Gets the full conversion and the damage over time on the ground. That actually could be it. No. That just goes for a little bit of a weird pickup right there. And now, yeah, no defensive bar. Don't get hit. Nobody needs to get hit here. Oh, the three, but not the four. Oh! No whip punish. Goes to the overhead. That might be it. Damage over time. Yeah, you have to jump out. But even if you do jump out, the upward angle is going to work. And Jukes really starting to adapt to the spawn pick. Again, I think that Jukes was just like not ready for spawn to be picked that first game. But as time is going on, he's like, okay, you know what? I can get this. Oh, no, the Jackie curse. The Jackie curse trying to down to punish her for a grab. She steps so far back. And it's so easy for those down twos afterwards to whip. And uh, I mean, it was a great reaction, a great attempt to punish. But look how much. Ninja Killer has paid for. Jukes has been totally in control until now as Ninja Killer finds the hits, the restand after a ton of damage. And the grab again. It's been more of the focus for Jukes as this goes on. Ooh, good tech oh, good there's Oh, there it is. That can't get by anything. bar's gone permanently, as you can see. Grab or strike or death here. Nice tech, nice tech. Had yeah, to go he, for that there. He will literally kill if he finds. Oh, uh, okay. There's one. Part there's one. There's two, oh, and one more hit, and that is going Let's to go. be it. Let's go. Oh, that is exactly what you want to use that for, especially against a 950 health character. All you need is one hit, and that was doing the same combo if it started with a grab as well. That's just what well, the character works so good, but here we go. Now all those crushing blows are gone. I mean, you usually don't want to have to use that in a second round. You want it in a third, but I'm saying that this game's almost over. Oh no, the standing reset whiff, but Ninja Kill is right back in there. Still, still here. The grab comes. Will he spend KB? No, he does not. Oh, gotta get out of this corner. Oh, Juke's in trouble. You can see it, he's frozen. It's frozen as the statues behind him. The dead men are there. Ninja Kill is gonna not. Okay. Oh, 
down Delay. one to fireball. What a challenge. Okay, okay. Oh, catch in the back. Well, that's going to be it. The long arm of the law that Jackie jumped to. One of the longest jump punches in the game for some reason. But that is going to be Jukes now going up 2 0 against Ninja Killa. We were talking Ninja Killa, probably the favorite for this entire tournament. But if Jukes knocks him into losers, that's going to be huge. And also, let me remind you all this matchup is not just to see who goes into the grand finals, but it guarantees a spot at the off offline event later this year. So this is the this is like one of the two probably most important matches of this tournament. Of course, Grand Final is extremely important as well, but these players want that chance probably more than anything else to make it there. And Jukes is now one game away. That's right, yeah. Getting into Grand Finals, uh, let me bring up the money as well. Top two, second place, $1,250. First place, $2,000. So getting into Grand Finals for that reason is pretty nice. Third place is $500, so it's quite a jump right there. So now, if you are Ninja Killer, do you stay with the spawn as he's now down two to one? Wouldn't be surprised to see a change. I mean, I think the spawn has been fine, but... Yeah, but Jukes has just been, I mean, in control. Just just really, like, figuring like, it out. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing about Spawn is you do have to commit to a lot of your options. It's not the safest character in the game. Uh, you know, the standing three is, like, an amazing normal. But if you get if it's jumped over, then that's it. But, wow, sticking with the Spawn confidence to be able to make it back two games straight. Let's see if that pays off. A little stolen turn for Ninja Killer there. Oh, Flawless walked the down three. I love how he walks through the goop without worrying about it too much. It is damage that you take, but it's more important to have positioning is how he's playing. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, you, you can wait, but the thing is if you wait it out, then they just get to basically reposition themselves and then place down more goop. So uh, you kind of, it's kind of lose-lose. You just kind of have to accept it and not think of it as like you're being hit. Hmm. Okay, we got Jukes here. Oh, that was a, definitely an input error. Trying to do the air blast, I think, instant, but uh, maybe accidentally got jumping too. Not going to matter. Going to find another opening, and that's going to be crushing blow, and that's going to be match point now for wow. Jukes to confirm his spot at the offline event and confirm his spot in the winner's side of Grand Finals. Again, this is our only player who's not on the East Coast as well. <laughs> <laughs> Our furthest west, so it's two West Coast commentators, you know, you know, yeah. our feeling. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're claiming them. <laughs> That's how Texas has to be. Both sides can claim, but okay. So lots of pressure here from Ninja Killer this time. He's playing a lot more aggressive, I think, realizing that the, the passive game is just giving Jukes opportunities. Uh oh, uh oh. Those back throws have been working so well the entire set from Jukes. Not afraid to lose the corner over them either. Great patience by Jukes right there. Patience again! All right, he's gonna get the corner. He's in here. Ninja Kill out. Yeah, that was a great roll. The first roll, I think the Ninja Kill is done. And it's gonna give him the corner. He doesn't have a lot of meter left, but oh, he doesn't need a whole lot. Okay, there's the breakaway. One more hit, that should be it. And now needs to win one more round to tie things up. Fight. Starting out in a pretty good positioning. Yeah. Gonna get the corner again if he'd like to. Oh, so far it's round three. Why not? Uh oh, there's no defensive bar for breakaway. Oh, so no. Juice is in huge trouble. Oh huge no! Trouble. How much damage can this be? All right, the charge, and then here's the down two. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! All of the crunching blows in a row. Is that enough damage? Oh my god! <laughs> that was literally two thirds of her 950 health. There's the oh. last hit as well. Ninja Killer, what a ridiculous third round. We talked about this man's execution. There you go. Oh my gosh. It was so close, so close, so close. Jukes just, just right there and then so forfeit. It's one of those moves that, I mean, a lot of spawns really just didn't think was going to be that useful. But when you get into those situations where it's like it's do or die right now, you want your your do or you want your do basically to be uh, a grab or strike into like 900 damage, right? Like that's what you want as far as risk reward. That is unbelievable. And finally getting that opportunity, he lands 100% of that combo. That was his first chance to get it completely, completely. That was so good. 
Okay, well, it's evened up now. Two games to two in this winner's finals. You know, so far in this top eight, we've had three ones and three zeros. And now we have our first game number five. And what better time to have it than at winner's finals? Jukes and Ninja Killer. All right, all the same stuff going in. Again, though, the aggression starting off strong from Ninja Kill. I really do think he started realizing he has to be more aggressive. No, huge combo drop right there. I mean, that was a gigantic amount of life. And now, yeah, had to take some damage to get out of the corner. And by some damage, I mean like half your life. Yeah, and that was actually a dash out of underneath of the leap in order to get that 3-4 punish by Ninja Kill. It's a beautiful movement by him. As he is in complete control, Juke's in trouble. Oh, starting to tech the grabs too. It just feels like everything is falling away from Jukes. But okay, here's the chance. Jackie always has a chance. Okay, maybe not right now, but now actually coming from behind, Ninja Kill is now the one on match point to guarantee his spot and make it to grand finals. But Jukes just needs to readapt, just needs to find his space, find his hits. Ooh. Defensive bar's gone now for Jukes. Killer with the knockdown, so forward again. Oh, he wants to end it here. He wants to immediately. Oh, uh, and this honestly has to just be basically knockdown and a knockdown. Yeah, no. Yeah, grab. you got to take forward throw. That's for sure right now. Oh no. Oh no. Could this possibly be it? No, no. I don't think it quite be. I think only off the grab could you get that, that much. But this is gonna be so close. And there's the next crushing blow. Now one more hit. Oh, the big drop wasn't able to get the 3 4 but there's still a chance. And winning this means that all those crushing blows are gone. That could be huge. Oh, the drop! It's a huge opportunity for Jukes. No, the execution error is gonna lose oh. it for him. The execution error when he had the chance to take the round and send us to the final round of the set. Instead, it's Ninja Killa taking it three games to two. Oh my gosh, what a heartbreaker. I mean, of course, amazing stuff to Ninja Killer. Absolutely earning that spot using Spawn of all characters. Not a character that we see all the time, but wow, that is got to hurt for Juke.